What's up everybody, it's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, and the war is over, check this out, 2.8 million gold, 2.8 million elixir, 15k dark elixir for the win, damage ink prevails over the engineer clan from Japan, we don't know their name because I can't speak Japanese, <laughs> but Decided to come right back out with this video after yesterday's bitchy little video that I made About the engineer clans. I like to do that every time that we fight an engineer clan. That's as bad as them so And this is what karma does for you. They had three severely engineered accounts out of 15 uh, We are in a 2020 war with 14 town hall 11s in it and two of them are at the top of their clan so that's what I get for running my mouth yesterday. I, I don't know. I, that video's not even out yet, so I know Supercell couldn't see it and it loaded me up with that clan again. <laughs> but I would do that if I was them. I don't know. So, first attack was from Terminator. He actually gets a six pack in the war. And he was one of the first attacks that he pulled off an amazing three star to start off the war. Then, this is the number five player. He had 2,500 war, uh, war stars. No, uh, no eagle. I don't even know if he has crossbows. I, I can't tell. But very similar to Terminator's base, he doesn't have any of the elite defenses either. And a bit, and I'll, I'm gonna just interrupt myself for a second. Look what the queen's doing. She is shooting through the core of the base when she did a jump spell right next to her. Ended up working out in her favor because she plows through uh, what, four Teslas, a bomb tower. So and, and she does real well. But damn. I mean, there was a jump right next to her, and there were I just, I, I, some things I don't get. So back on back on topic, where the hell was I? Ah, yes, Terminator's base. So I I've attacked his base several times, and it's very very difficult to three star his base, even though he does not have any of the elite defenses because he has maxed out walls. So if I don't manage to either jump or race through every section of wall and I get stuck on one section of those white walls, the max Town Hall 11 walls, then I'm going to sit there and chop away at him, even with my king or queen, for about 30 seconds. Uh, it seems like an hour when you're actually playing, but it's probably about probably 20 to 30 seconds. You're just sitting there chopping, chop, chop, chop. Then I end up getting 95 or 96% with 15 troops left over because I can't complete the whole base because I've been too busy chopping at a wall. <laughs> So they, they were kind of the same way. Have a couple dip attacks in the video because they I just they just didn't have uh they you know they, the town hall 11s that they had up top. They were tough. We two start each one. There was three of them up top. Uh, uh, I say we as in flex and, and creeper because <laughs> easy tried and I, I got a I I studied this base for two hours three hours. And I knew I had seen this base on the internet, so I went on the internet, found the base. They, I, I've, I watched, uh, we won't say any names, but uh, watched one clan three star with hogs. Watched another clan three star with Laloon. Third clan three star with Laloon. The fourth clan, I think, I think the fourth and fifth. There was so many attacks on this base. Everyone's three star in it. I get up there and get a glorious 90% one star, and I wanted to kill someone. So my, my slump has continued, kind of sucks when you are, I know I can do this. I, I actually farmed last night for probably about an hour, maybe two hours, and three star at least. If I attacked ten times, I got seven three stars. And I made sure I was attacking all Town Hall 11s with Eagle Artillery because the Town Hall 11 I was attacking did not have one. So. It's just one of those things that you can do it in far you can do it while you're farming, but not in war. <laughs> Baffling. So, this is Creeper's biggest account, Kyle H. He has a Town Hall 11. Still working on the heroes. I think the heroes are around 25, level 25 or something like that. So, still got still got some more work to do on them. Shows you how great of an attack it is. Using the slap attack. And 
I wanted to show this mainly for the follow-up. I was actually watching one of our old videos yesterday, and I, it was so entertaining for me. Uh, here's a clip from it right here. I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna play the old commentary, but this was the very first time. This is actually the second attack that I've ever, that I ever used a witch walk. And I don't know who showed it to us or how we how we came up with it, but we started off doing it because we were doing the bowler walks uh, in the attack that we call the flex as an attack that our clan made up, and we were having trouble getting all the town hall nines the bowlers because when we only had two or three town hall tens at the time, and the town hall tens were just steadily passing out bowlers to everyone and they were having a hard time actually upgrading anything that was dark elixir because they're literally handing out 25 or 30 bowlers every time they come on so we decided okay the witches they may be a viable substitute for the bowlers so we started doing it tried the first attack with too easy and i found a huge base but got like 80 percent and i thought it was pretty good then i then i switched over to my main account to, on ezekiel and it wasn't a very good base, but it, but it was good enough to test out the attack because you know on these new attacks Remember this this is from a year and a half ago And this is long before the, the slap the bitch slap the witch slap whatever you want to call it long before that was a thing And what I found so amusing was One we were using the witch walk which is now one of them. It's an element in tons of people's attacks but we were questioning it because we weren't sure if it was gonna work or not and my thing was back then I said this is gonna work in Town Hall 9 but I don't know about 10 and 11 just not understanding the way troops work I guess <laughs> because in Town Hall 11 this is a this is okay so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you one more replay of the Wicked Flex for back in early 2016 it, believe it or not it's still a viable attack people still use witches a lot you know they're, they're still good troops to use they're not they're they're still in the meta probably uh, half of your top players are using them at one variation or another so for town hall 9 a lot of people use the slap in, in war and they'll have the uh, a clan mate donate the bowlers a town hall 10 do donate the bowlers to them uh, for one of the walks and you can practice with this particular attack or you can use this attack in war if you want and you use the witches instead of the bowlers because you can have a town hall nine donate the witches to you and if you're in a i believe a level five clan you get a the plus one i think that will max them out if not it might be a plus two i forget but um you'll have so you'll have max witches so th the way the, the attack works we'll just go go through it one more time you're going to start off with a, what we call a witch walk which is three witches and three healers and then you'll start off with a queen walk in the other corner so you're going to start off in two corners which makes it which makes the attack pretty simple you start off in two corners they start working on the two corners cleaning out all the trash builders on the outside then you immediately send the giants to the wall uh, the giants are going to run up to the wall unless there's a defense on the outside of the wall that will distract them as soon as the giants hit the wall then you'll spread out four or five wizards in all the trash buildings they'll take out the trash buildings real quick and what that will do is that will prevent the queen or the witches from coming towards the the hole that the bowl the giants are about to make so they'll end up going around the outside of the base so you have to be kind of quick with that with the giants and the wizards so as soon as the wizards clean out the trash buildings by that time the, the giants are pretty much busted through the wall and then you'll send the king and the valkyries in so now you have giants wizards valkyries the king all going into the core of the base a big kill squad or we used to call it wrecking ball squad because it's not really a kill squad but uh so you, you have them in the core of the base now you have the queen walk going around one side of the base you have the witch walk going around the other side of the base uh the witches are really good at shooting over the walls especially if you have three of them together uh they had they got a buff like a year ago to where their damage per second went way up their hit points went way up so the healers can keep them alive through more shots through most defenses especially if you have three of them um, just be mindful always keep one eye or a half of one eye on the witches and half of one eye on the queen because you might have to burn uh the rage spell to on the on the troop and the healers at the same time because that will push the troop up and also get the healers to, to super heal them and that will that will keep them alive through a lot of the, what could be fatal events when they run into a group of defenses that can take them out so 
you're keeping those walks going on the outside then you have the giants the wizards the valkyries the king going in the inside you don't need to pull the clan castle troops just because you, you the giants are kind of be in the front pretty much and it when if there are clan castle troops or if you're in a war attack there will be uh let's say if they have a baby dragon and witches come out which is a common uh clan castle your troops will easily handle that so you don't have to pull them out they'll just handle that in mid attack so there's a lot less uh there's a lot less to worry about there's a lot a lot fewer steps to to start the attack off so that's why this is a really good attack for newer town hall nines and play you know we have we've been we teach all the guys what we what kind of attacks we want them to use and uh, to, to try to teach a, a player that's never used laloon for example that's not an easy thing to do uh, the flex and the wicked flex is a, is a really simple attack to, to teach people now this is lord liam he's going to actually use the flex he used it last war which we're going to get into the war now in a, in a second here he used it last war and uh, he's perfected this this attack you, you just watch how how easily he plows through the space and uh, now you, you notice he's got a bowler walk on the top left he's got the queen walk on the bottom right he's already got the giants has, have already hit the the walls uh the wizards are right behind the giants they've already cleaned out the trash buildings now the clan castle troops come out he puts a rage spell on him puts a heal spell on him the wizards take out the clan castle troops now the troops are already in the core I believe he put a second heal in the core and he didn't he, he did not jump out of the core which that's something that if you're using the attack in Town Hall 10 where you have an extra spell you definitely want to use something on the back side of the core because a lot of attacks end right there uh, because you know a lot of these troops it, it, if you have troops like the Valkyrie you know you may have five or six of them in the core if you don't jump them out of it they may attack five or six different walls while all these defenses are pounding down on them from all directions so they won't make it out of the core so a lot of attacks die right there in the core so it's always a good idea to if you're gonna jump into the core to jump back out if you're gonna earthquake into the core to maybe wait on the rage if you can and rage back out you want to use some kind of spell to get out of the core it's always a good idea so great attack by Liam getting back to the war if you haven't seen the last video, if you're entertained by listening to someone cry about fighting an engineer clan and making empty threats to them over the internet, then the last video would be a video for you. <laughs> That's what I did. That's what I do pretty much every time we fight an engineer clan. Uh, looking at their lineup, they had three, three or four town halls at the top of the clan that all had max troops. Then they had three or four town hall 11s down the bottom of the clan. I'm going to show you one of them coming up next after this attack right here. I'll show you what we had to deal with as far as on defense. You know, attacking them is not a problem. The problem came when they attacked you because they have max troops and they were sitting across from our Town Hall 7s. So, how do you beat engineer clans that do that? There is a way to do it. Uh, it's what we did last war. It's well, I mean, this is how a lot of clans overcome the engineer clans because they are engineered because they don't have a lot of the defenses You just beat the hell out of them. You, th you have to three-star them all the way up and down the lineup We three-starred every single base except for two or three. I don't think we got the top three and They two of them were max 11s one of them was they were just really really well designed bases so which is the which kind of the, going back to what frustrates me these guys don't have to have engineered bases they, they're good enough that they can just uh, go you know fight heads up they had great attacks I think that, you know not to be stereotypical but I've seen a ton of hog rider attacks out of Japanese players it seems like uh, there's trends in all all different areas in the world and Japan definitely loves the hog rider attacks they hogged us on every single base they hogged us at Town Hall 9 10 and 11 we managed to uh, they didn't three star I think they left at seven or eight bases with a star left on it Which was unusual because I looked at they had their war log was open and they were usually averaging 98% on every single 98% 99% 97% right there at 98% on all the wars, so Really happy we beat them. It makes me feel a lot better. I was really proud of the guys. They we worked really hard to try to overcome this engineer clan we work twice as hard so if you have an engineer clan and you think you're gonna just walk over us we're going I stayed up half the night studying and talking to people and trying to make sure everyone 
was on the same page, and I wasn't the only one. There was t several guys that were out, out up late last night trying to work our way through the engineered clan, and we got it. So yay to us! <laughs> uh, this is this is Fox Firefly, new kid to the clan. She got to attack the engineered base. It sucked. It sucks for her because that's the first time hole 11 she gets to attack, and that's what it looked like. So sorry to her for that. <laughs> so end of the video. Appreciate everyone for watching to the end. Uh, go check out the website www.clashmadeeasy.com. We have a huge announcement coming up. It was supposed to be this video, but I I procrastinate. <laughs> I'm so busy I can't finish what I'm what I'm supposed to finish. So it's coming up. I promise it's coming up. Go check it out on the website. Uh, sub to the channel if you haven't subbed to the channel already. We are steadily building up subs. I really appreciate everyone. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate all the all, everything I've been hearing. So thank you all very much for that. Uh, so till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.